Abebi ta ta fan sura la. Amata ora jam folo hat la jugu benga ba. Ano nini klebi na ni bana ni teke. Nini kara ta ni teke. Mba nini befe. Mesika ka ka foto dun kana. Politiki mwko nini sura sike jera ka kola tike ibala. Sura sike ini politiki mwko bie ni civil jera ka koke ibala. Benkando de kera jamane me marisho kan. Paske nini cheo che sura. Ki ba fe ki se nona ka freke. Mbese kaka tolerance zero. Amadou Haya Sanogo, born 1973, is a Malian military officer who was leader of the 2012 Malian coup d'etat against President Amadou Tomani Tol. He proclaimed himself the leader of the National Committee for Recovering Democracy and Restoring the State. Sanogo was also said to be involved in the arrest and resignation of acting Prime Minister Modibo Diara in December 2012, leading to the appointment of civil servant Dijango Sisoko as Prime Minister. According to Human Rights Watch, Sanogo's force were implicated in serious human rights abuses, including torture, sexual abuse, and intimidation against journalists and family members of detained soldiers. Sanogo is one of six children born to Mamadou Sanogo and his wife. Amadou Sanogo is nicknamed Boli by relatives. Sanogo comes from Sego, one of Mali's largest cities of the, on the Niger River. Sanogo has spent 22 years in the Malian armed forces. Before the coup, Sanogo had held a mid-level army position. A participation in the International Military Education and Training Program, he received training at training programs in the United States, in Georgia, and at the Malin Corps Base Quantico in Virginia. But his American instructors never marked him out as future leadership material. He also studied English language at Lackland Air Force Base in Texas. His first actions as the facto head of state included su suspending the constitution and activities of some organizations as well as declaring a curfew and closing the borders. Though the rationale for the coup had been Amadou Tomani Tole's alleged mismanagement of the 2012 Oleg Rebellion, the Malian military lost control of the regional capitals of Kidal, Gaur, and Timbuktu within 10 days of Sanogo's assuming office, leading routers to describe the coup as a spectacular own goal. On 4th April, the New York Times reported that he was trying to deflect attention from the coup to the struggles in the North, telling a reporter, we should forget a little about the committee, the parliament, the constitution, that can wait. The serious topic is the North, that's the most important. Economic sanctions and the blockade by the economic community of West African state ECOWAS on the country, a deal brokered in Burkina Faso by President Bryce Campol under the auspices of ECOWAS was signed that would see Sanogo cede power to Dionkunda Trawol, who would assume the presidency in an interim capacity until an election could be held. After the new interim president Didion Kunda Trawol and Prime Minister Modibo Diara took office, the junta led by Sanogo made it clear that they were stepping aside only temporarily and that the junta would retain a supervisory role until the elections. ECOWAS gave the interim president one year to hold elections. 
On 24th November 2012, Sanogo joined the Malian religious leaders to speak at a Bamako rally against religious extremism. On 11th December 2012, Prime Minister Modibo Diara was arrested by Sanogo's junta and forced to resign. The move, which was condemned by ECOWAS, was followed the same day by the appointment of the Django Sisoko as Prime Minister. Following the election of Ibrahim Boubeika Keita as president, Sanogo was promoted to the rank of four-star general on 14th August 2013. It was believed that the move was part of an effort to convince Sanogo to retire, enabling him to do so with dignity. Shortly before Keita was sworn in as president, Sanogo was dismissed from his post as head of a military reform committee on 28th August 2013. On 27th November 2013, Sanogo was arrested and charged with complicity in the kidnapping and disappearance of rivals within the Marian military. He remains in detention while awaiting trial. In January 2020, it was announced that Sanogo would be released pending his upcoming trial. This was in accordance with a court decision ordering Sanogo's release after Sanogo's trial date was postponed at the last minute. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.